Do you know anyone who was adopted? Yes, I do. One of my best friends was adopted. His adopted parents were honest about this. I don't see him as being any different from my other friends who aren't adopted. I mean, I don't know what is in his heart, but he doesn't seem affected by the fact that he was adopted. He was a fully functioning member of society just like I was. How would you feel if you were told you were adopted? I don't think it would affect me that much. I love my parents and I care for them deeply. Even if I found out that they were not my biological parents, I would still love them the same. Just as they loved me. So I would definitely say that I would feel pretty much the same. Would you consider adopting a child? Sure, I mean, I'm not planning on having kids yet. But I don't know what the future would bring. I would certainly consider adopting a child in the future. I think that there is no difference between having your own biological child and adopting one. It's all about the care you give to somebody. And I would be prepared to give the same amount of love and care to my potential adopted child. How would you feel if one of your cousins or siblings was adopted? I would not feel in a different way about them. I would still see them as being the members of my family. I would still love them in the same way I love them now. Again, it's all about the time you spend with somebody and the experiences you share, just like I mentioned in the previous question. I spent a lot of time with my relatives, so our bond is strong. The idea that they might be adopted would not bother me at all. If you choose to adopt a child, how would you go about it? Well, I guess I would first have to show to the adoption agency that I am financially stable, so I would first work on that. I think I would choose an older child, maybe even a teenager. I would do that because I heard that they don't get adopted as often. And I think that's unfair. So I would definitely adopt a child that's older. You will have 60 seconds to prepare and then you will speak for between 60 to 120 seconds. Start speaking now. I was on my holiday and I visited a city in Italy. I saw a statue of Poseidon that was placed on the town square. It was made out of bronze and it was quite big. He was standing with his trident in hand. And beneath him he was supported by four statues of women. I really liked it because of all the details you could see on it. All the parts of Poseidon's body are depicted with amazing precision, I would say. You could see every muscle, all of the muscles were clearly defined. What I also liked about it is that you could clearly see an attitude, if I may say so, in this statue. You could see that he was looking, you could see that emotion in him. 
I know that it might sound silly because I am talking about the statue, a non-living thing. I really felt that way about it as though it had attitude. I also liked the way the four women were depicted as well. You could also see that the same level of detail was used there. What I disliked about it was the fact that you could clearly see rust on it. The statue was not maintained well. I don't understand why the city couldn't invest in cleaning it. It just seems ridiculous not to maintain such a work of art. The artist that made it probably lived centuries ago. He must have been somebody famous to make something like this. I would certainly love to see his other sculptures or any other type of art he made. Do you think that people in the past appreciated art more? I think they did. I think that the people in the past would seek out art more than the people in the present. I think that now we care much more about entertainment, about being entertained rather than having this transcendent feeling that art gives us. Nowadays people are lazier. That's my opinion anyway. Do you think that art has the power to change the world? Of course I do. I think that art can definitely move people. Now here I am talking about art in the form of a story or a book even. A powerful story could make people do something. It would make them affect change. I think that also a painting depicting an important event can have a lasting effect. Which do you think is more impactful, visual or auditory art? I would say visual art, because it's easier to access it, it's easier to transmit images rather than it is to transmit audio. Also when it comes to visual art, also when it comes to visual arts, it doesn't take long to experience it, whereas the auditory art can take some time to absorb, to take it all in. Should street graffiti be considered as art? Some of it, yes. Not all of it. I mean, I saw plenty of graffiti that really evoked strong feelings in me. But there were others that were just silly and ridiculous. And they most certainly are not art. I remember when I went to Paris, at the entrance of the city, I saw this amazing graffiti that covered an entire section of a building. It was glorious. It was off a woman's face. The artist used amazing shapes and colors. It's just hard to describe it, but it was amazing. What is the most famous piece of art in your country? There are plenty of famous work of art in my country. I could not say definitely which one is the most famous, but if I had to choose, I would choose the composition that Chopin made. 